my second grade and welcome to math class. Today we have lesson 168 and it is a review again so we've learned all these things before but let's just refresh our mind on some of the things. First of all we're going to start out by counting. We're going to count by 50s and you can count with me from 1,000 to 2,000 by 50s. Okay so 1,000, 1,050, 1,100, 1,150, 1,200, 1,250, 1,300, 1,350, 1,400, 1,450, 1,500, 1,550, 1,600, 1,650, 1,700, 1,750, 1,800, 1,850, 1,900, 1,950, and 2,000. Okay, very good. Now let's look over here on the board. And we have going by 100s on the top there. So um, before and after num number going by 100s. So we'll look in the 100s place here. Before 4,681 would be 4,581. And then we have 4,781. Before 900 would be 800. After 900 is 1,000. Before 1,034 would be 1,000. Actually, it would be 934. 934, and then we have 1,034, 1,100. Here we have a 13 facts, so let's just fill in the 13 facts. Um, the first one would be 4 plus 9 equals 13, 5 plus 8, actually we don't have to put the signs in, let's just fill in the numbers, 5 and 8 is 13, and 6 and 7 is 13. And this is the 14 family, so we have 5 plus or five and nine, five and nine is 14. Six and eight is 14 and seven and seven is 14. Okay, here we have going by twos. Um, we have 1,531 and we're going all the way to 1,553. So we'll start with the number after 1,531, which is 1,533. Okay, um, yeah, so thinking about mixed numbers and fractions and whole numbers, we have some here on the board, and we want to, we want to circle the whole numbers, box the fractions, and underline the mixed numbers. So this would be a mixed number, 28 and 1 ninth, it's a mixed number because it's mixed with a whole number and a fraction, so we call that a mixed number. 54 here is a whole number, so let's see, I would circle the whole numbers. 8 ninth is a fraction, so I'm going to put a box around it. 2 third is a fraction, so it will get a box. 2 seventh is a fraction, so it gets a box. 9 is a whole number, so it gets a circle. 154 is a whole number, it gets a circle. 5 and 1 half is a mixed number, so it gets underlined. 7 and 2 thirds is a mixed number, it gets underlined. Okay, looking at these numbers here, we have 672,341 has how many ten thousands? This stands for ten thousands. So we look at the ten thousands place, 
This is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. So seven would be in the ten thousands place, so I write seven in there. 3,576 has how many? Actually, I need to add a few more numbers here. Let's go like that. 473,576 is how many hundred thousands? And so here again, we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So four would be in the hundred thousands place. 5,827 has how many thousands? T stands for thousands. So five is in the thousands place, right? So we would put five in the blank. Okay, here we have problems again. We need to watch for the minus or the plus sign. Zero minus nine is zero is less than nine, so we'll borrow, cross out, put a one beside the zero, cross out the six, and put a five on top. Ten minus nine is one, five minus one is four, seven minus four is three, five minus two is three. So my answer is 3,341. Here we have an addition sign, so we need to add. Two plus three is five plus four is nine. Put my nine under there. Seven plus three is 10 plus five is 15. Carry my one up there and put my five here. One plus four is five plus three is eight. Put my eight directly underneath there and my decimal point under there and my dollar sign here. So yeah, don't forget your dollar signs and decimal points again. Here we have a subtraction problem. So four minus three is one, zero minus seven. Zero is less than seven, so we'll need to borrow on that again. Put a one beside the zero, cross out the eight, put a seven on top. 10 minus seven is three. Seven minus nine, uh, seven is less than nine, right? So we'll need to borrow again. So one beside the seven, cross out the nine, put eight on top. 17 minus nine is eight. Eight minus nothing is eight. Okay, dollar sign, decimal point, and that would be your answer. All right, let's think on story problems now. So remember, for story problems, we think carefully through the problem and we read it, try to understand what it's telling us. So let's do that here. It says, Noah earned $2.46 for cleaning the neighbor's cat pens. Amy earned $5.59 for cleaning the neighbor's windows. How much money did they earn together? So you're thinking about Noah working, okay, and he earned $2.46 for cleaning the neighbor's calf pens. And then Amy, she earned $5.59 for cleaning the neighbor's windows. That's what she made. Well, let's underline um, $2.46 and $5.59. Nine cents and then money and together. So I think that's actually supposed to probably say all together. So we'll just put an A on there. So all together. And whenever you have all together, we add, right? So we're going to add. We'll put our work over here. $2.46 plus. $5.59. Okay, so 6 plus 9 is 15. 1 plus 4 is 5 plus 5 is 10. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 5 is 8. So $8 and 5 cents was what they earned all together. And then you fill in your blank down here. $2.46 plus $5.59. pretty much does it for today, second grade. Um, let's think a little bit about a clock yet, though. So you know what time it is now. Is it 7 o'clock or is it quarter till 7 or 7.45, in other words? Well, it's not quite 7 o'clock because this hand did not go up to the o'clock yet, so we can't say it's 7 o'clock. So it's almost 7 o'clock but it is still 6.45, or we would, in other words, to say it would be quarter till seven. Okay, here we have 7.05, five minutes past seven o'clock. Here is 7.25, 25 minutes past seven o'clock. And here we have 
7.30 or half past 7. It's halfway past 7 o'clock. And yeah, I'm like that. Okay, um, remember to do your speed drill. And yeah, I think that's about everything for today. Do a careful job on your math lesson. And I'll see you again. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.